All right, thank you very much, Gregory. And our current temperature right now is 29 degrees. We are looking at sunny skies, a little nippy out there, but it's going to warm up as the weekend progresses. For weather, when you want it, you can log on to our website, wsbs.com, or you can call the weather phone, 413-528-0860. Even though we're going to have a high school basketball game coming up within the next half hour, I'm still able to squeeze in my Saturday morning chat, and the program would not be complete without the return of one of my favorite performers from out west, in New York's Hudson Valley. A good morning to Lori, and welcome back, my dear. Good morning, my friend Ron. How's things over there in Massachusetts? Like I said, a little cold and uh, pretty much uh, tranquil. And like we've said, we've dod- we dodged the bullet on that snowstorm. That was really good. Yes, thing. we did, and I couldn't be more happy about it. I am so ready for spring. I mean, we didn't have a hard winter, but, you know, regardless, it's time to move, o- move on to the better months, you know, which is, which is the months that I get busy in, So, which is why I have a, you know, an, a, a secret admiration for spring and summer because it keeps me real busy, mm-hmm. and that, that's what I love. Well, you know something, you're going to be one uh, busy little lady for the next couple of months, and we'll touch on that. Yeah, uh, all bef- the way till October, I'm pretty much booked. So, yeah, we're pretty Great. busy and we're pretty excited. Great. And uh, the thing I want to really discuss is that a third EP is in the works. That's uh, the new development since we last spoke on the air, and it's supposedly Correct. due out later this year. And after the uh, chat is over, we're going to feature a track from that uh, collection. So we'll stage that uh, as time goes by. But right now, tell me about this new uh, musical compilation. Well, it's a little bit. Um, it's a little bit of everything. The song that you're going to ha- you're going to play, which is "Rebel Child," it was kind of off the beaten path. It's kind of more like. Um, I don't want to say dark song, but it's more like a storytelling song, and it's it's like. Um, it's really not a sweet, typical kind of country song. It's more gritty, which is what I wanted to do something different. Mm-hmm. So um, a friend of mine, Frank Serino, who's, who's an awesome, um, awesome guitar player and singer, and he has his own studio, he made, a, he made a video for me, which you can find on my website. And it's an awesome video, which, which tells the whole story about the Rebel Child song. So it's kind of like a little bit different. You know, I'm kind of mixing it up a little bit. But, you know, you can't really remain the same. You have to change up just your sound a tiny bit. I'm still country, but it's just a little bit more edgy this time. All right, and uh, we will take a listen to that uh, finished product in about uh, 15 minutes from now. But uh, in the meanwhile, I do want to say that um, you and your uh, guitarist, Fred Midnight Slim, are uh, just... uh, all over the place over there, out west in New York's Hudson Valley. Uh, Lori Ann, of course, concentrates on her home base. She's from the Warwick area, and she does gigs in Orange County, Sullivan County, and also Ulster County, too. Right, and we've gone as far as, you know, we, we'll, we'll travel a couple of hours out of the way. We've, did, uh, we've done a couple of fairs in uh, Pennsylvania and that kind of thing. Um, but, yeah, we kind of try to stay within a, an hour and a half kind of base because, you know, it's, it's a long drive <laughs> when you're done with a gig. You know, it's like, ah, you just want to go home, and, mm-hmm. and you have to just time yourself so you're not really four hours out. But we do, when we do the Villa Roma Resort, which we, we have been the house band there for two years, mm-hmm. um, they will offer us accommodations, and that's amazing because it's, it's a great little kind of resort. You're kind of living the dirty dancing thing all over again, which is my favorite movie of all time. Oh, isn't that so a great like film? living in the dirty dancing song, and I mean, it just blows my mind that it's, it's just the same, the same as you see on that, on that movie. It's timeless awesome. with a capital T for starters. And uh, in case people don't know, Villa Roma is based out in the uh, area known as Calicoon. Correct. That's, that's the only, the last resort left you know, for that kind of, like, family, timeshare, kind of summer kind of party thing. And it's really a nice little place that um, that really, it's just a, just a charm about it that I feel honored to be asked to play there. So it's just great. I miss the old Borscht Belt. I mean, really, all those great hotels. The Borscht Belt. <laughs> no, really, that's what they called it. No, it is. It actually is. Yeah, and it's the last one remaining. And I it's mean, still going pretty strong. So. We had uh, the Concord. The Pines. The Concord. You know, Fred used to play at the Concord for years. Mm-hmm. He, he played with all these, you know, t- I don't know, Tom Joneses and all these other guys up there. And he met all these big-time people up there. Wow. But he had a steady gig back in the 80s at the Concord before it closed. Grossinger's also up in Liberty. 
Another one. Right. The Neville exactly. in Ellenville, New York. The Neville is another one. It's amazing how they just all just went by the wayside, or one of them burned down, didn't it? One of yeah. them burned down? Yeah, I'm not sure which one. I think. Uh, I forget, too. I think it was yeah. Cutcher's. Which one? Cutcher's. Who? Cutcher's. Oh, maybe. That I could can't... be it. i got to look that up over here. But anyway. Yeah, I didn't follow it back then. I wasn't really, uh, you know, into the into, into the resort scene back in the mm. 80s, you know, so I didn't go that far. But, yeah. Yeah, so we keep the Villa Roma alive in, in the summertime. We, we go there usually one night a week, and they uh, they put us up, and um, and that's it. And that's all summer long. So hopefully we'll get that again. And they you're don't also, let me know usually till June. So and you're unfortunately also, I can't oh, tell you if I'm there this year or not. I don't. I'm hoping. I'm just so excited. I'm interrupting, and I apologize. That on that. No but, problem. But I wanted to also bring in the fact that you also play in Bethel Woods, which is right near Woodstock. We played in Bethel Woods for a couple blues um, blues fests. Fred was the the curator for that, and that was amazing. I mean, we we were in that little event room, which the sound in there is just phenomenal. It's a beautiful stage, and it's like wh- when you're playing at Bethel. When you say you're playing at Bethel Woods, you're you're playing somewhere great. So it's great to put on the resume, and we had a, we have a lot of videos. You'll see them on my website from that particular from those shows we did there, and um, you know it's just. It's just the experiences I've had playing in a band, you know, with doing this stuff. It's just more fun than I could ever, ever put a price on. You know what I mean, Ron? It just, it just keeps me going. It's that's awesome. fantastic. I mean, well, that's why, yeah. you know, I got to get out one of these days to uh, see you perform because, it, you know, from what I'm watching on the videos and uh, the energy that you have and, of course, Fred's guitar, and I didn't oh, know yeah. any... I didn't know uh, about something that uh, you clued me in yesterday when we were, uh, you know, getting this uh, chat ready yesterday afternoon, that uh, he actually worked with the late, great Don Imus for 20 years. Oh, my gosh. He sure did. If you ever watched Imus in the Morning on WNBC, yep. uh, there was Fred playing the blues with um, his, at that, at that time, partner. Um, and Imus was a big blues guy. Hmm. So every morning you'd see Fred and little Sammy Davis singing the blues for Imus in the morning. And for 20 years he did that. And it's amazing. Imus was a big Lee Von Helm fan also. And, of course, uh, Fred had the uh, privilege of playing with the lead singer of the band, who we miss wholeheartedly, as his memory, of course, always remains eternal and everlasting. So Fred pretty much, uh, you know, started off on the right foot uh, in basically uh, getting his – feet wet in regard to uh performing with a legend like levon helm and uh exactly he's got some he's got some pretty interesting stories i i can't really reveal them online (laughs) all right you know the stories of of hanging out with famous people is pretty interesting you know let's just put it that way well let me make an appointment when i go out and see you guys perform one of these days i'm going to be all ears on these stories because i love them yeah just tap into some of fred's stories it's it's pretty interesting because you know he's done it all his life me i kind of like i said i had a little reprieve there for 20 some years where i didn't do anything Mm -hmm. and then i met fred again through facebook and we kind of connected and he talked me into doing this again after 20 almost three decades and um i didn't want to do it at first you know i said what i i I can't i just don't want to be put out there again i said oh i gotta stay out late in the bars and this and that and this and that he goes just sing for me will you and and so i did and he goes you still got it you still need you need to be out there you need to be doing this so if it wasn't for him and his pushing me, pushing me, I wouldn't be in this position that I'm in. So I credit a lot of this to Fred because he is, he is the one who got me going again, and um, it's, it's the best thing I've ever done the second time around, seriously. Well, as I mentioned, uh, it couldn't be more perfect for somebody like of his stature to get you back on stage and perfect your craft. Because remember, you've been singing uh, since the days uh, when you were growing up with your uh, – with your pop. Yeah. And with my brother and my dad. And, yeah, exactly, in the 80s. And I, we just stopped <clears throat> because, you know, dad had passed and we just couldn't do it anymore. So, and, and life went on, you know, you got to have your, you know, your family and whatnot. And the music wasn't part of that at that time. Mm-hmm. But, you know, now is the time where I can do stuff for me. You know, my family's growing up and there's nobody to take care of, so to speak, anymore. So mm-hmm. I can do what I love and I'm doing it every single weekend as much as I can. <laughs> and it's great. 
Lorianne, it just goes to show you it ne- it's never too late to do anything in it's life. It's never too late. It's never too late, you know. And, Ron, I have to say, I have to thank you because, really, we have never met in person. Mm-hmm. We met, I was just thinking about it the other day, we met on LinkedIn right. one, one year. Right. We just kind of connected through LinkedIn. We just started talking because you were at a radio station, and you want, and I think I connected with you because I needed some, you know, I just wanted to be on a radio station. And we kind of connected through LinkedIn, and we've never, we've spoken on the phone, we've never met, but you have been so supportive of my stuff since the beginning, that, since the, that's maybe four years ago. And it's just, it's so nice to, to speak to somebody who really gets it and doesn't want anything in return. You know, it's just like... We're we're friends on the phone, but we have to we you have to come to one of my shows, and we have to meet each other in person finally. Because I just want to thank you in person for all your support. It means the world to me. It really. shall happen, my dear. No doubt about that. It will that. happen. And it will happen. I'm you know I'm glad to see that the success of Small Town Girl, your second EP, is uh, getting uh, constant attention uh, online and uh, through uh, the other platforms, as well as your first. Uh, collaboration as well so i i remember a small town girl was the uh collection that we were pretty much spotlighting when we first started chatting right because that's when it was on it i think it's been on pandora now for a couple of years so that was that was a huge i mean uh, whoever thought i'd make it to pandora radio but you know it's just like you say you just never know. It's just never too late and mm-hmm. to try to write a song, which I've never done in my entire life until six years ago, when all of a sudden Fred goes, you got a lot of stories in that head. I want you to put them on paper. Again, Fred pushing me to write something, and when you dare me to do something, I'm going to do it. So I did it, and I'll be damned. I'm on Pandora Radio, so go figure. It's just, <laughs> sort of like just when, never know. Sort of like when the know. kid put his tongue on the pole on the Christmas story, a triple-double <laughs> dare. Right, exactly. Don't dare me, because I'm going to come at you full force, all, all barrels loaded, and that's exactly what I did. And I couldn't stop writing after that. So Good to know. The weirdest thing that you tap into, just because somebody put a little light in your head and said, you can do this. And I said to myself, yeah, I can do it. And I did it, and I proved to myself, I've gotten awards for songs. You know, I've sent it to songwriting contests. Mm-hmm. I've gotten awards for my songwriting. First time out, come on, that's, that was like a pat on my back. You know, like, oh, my God, maybe I am pretty good at this. So, you know, it's just all these little things that just make up the big picture of why I love this, you know, what I do. You know, all right. Just... I would hate to cut you short because we're really running on a time limit over here. No problem, But there Ryan, are a off. couple of things I do want to touch on before we uh, get to your uh, tune, Rebel Child from the 30P. Do you have a title for that uh, collection, or is that still in the works? It's probably going to be Simple Life. Okay. Because there's a song on there called Simple Life also, and I think that's going to be the title track of the next LP. All right. EP, good. I should say EP. It's not going to be a full, like, 12 songs, right. probably six. But, um, yeah, we got three more songs to record, three or four, and then it'll be it'll be out hopefully by the end of the year. Lori Ann, at one point before she actually took center stage, was actually a uh, – radio personality herself in her uh, local area of Warwick. And she actually did shows with the polka great himself, Mr. Jimmy Stir, who used to Mr. own the Jimmy local Stir. radio station yes, there. I know him so well. Yep. The funny thing is I won a contest, right? For, yep. I don't know what it was for. And I had to go to the studio <clears throat> to get my check. So there's Jimmy, and I knew all Jimmy's band members from way back because, you know, I'm a Polish of Polish heritage, and you have to know Jimmy Stir, and you have to dance to Jimmy Stir all your life. So that's what I did. Oh, yeah. Knew the band, whatever. So I went to pick up my, my little uh, winnings, and they said to me, you know what? Why don't you do a country show here? And I said, but I've never, but, but, but I've never been a radio disc jockey. I have no clue. They said, come in. We'll show you the ropes. And you can do a show here every, I think it was every Saturday or Sunday morning for an hour and a half or two hours. And, and I'll tell you what, Ron, I've never done anything like that in my life. And I got to be so good at it. After, after two years, they changed hands. I think the radio station changed hands, and they changed the whole format. Yeah. But anyway, I had the best time doing that. And it was so much fun. I was promoting my, my band at the time promoting my gigs mm-hmm. while I'm doing the, the radio show. And I, had, and I was a little country DJ there for two years. So I can put that under my belt, too. All right, I'm going <laughs> to put it. Anymore, but I'm it putting a dare on you right now because you got to come out here and co-host with me one Saturday morning. Oh, that would be so much 
much fun. Oh, my God. Let's let's try to work that out. I don't know when, but at some point, let's try to work that out. And it will happen, like you said. It will. It will happen. All it right. It will happen. Now, before we get to your information on how people can get to know you more online, what does the real Laurie Ann do when not performing in uh, about a couple of sentences over here? Besides okay. entertaining a crowd, what does Lori Ann do besides mowing her lawn? <laughs> well, besides mowing my lawn, okay. I, I am great in the kitchen. I can, I can uh, cook up a storm for anybody. I'm, I'm really a big foodie at heart. And when the springtime comes around, I am out there playing in that dirt every single day. You'll find me in the dirt, in my lawn, mowing my grass, doing something with the flowers. And that's what I love to do. I'm a farm girl, and you can take the, farm, the girl out of the farm but you can't take the farm out of the girl. So that's me. That's me. I'm just, I just love to be outside, and I'm just a nature girl. Basically. All right, I'm going to have to sing a few bars of this one. Green Acres is the place to be. <laughs> farm <laughs> living is the life for me. <laughs> Land spreading out so far and wide. Keep Manhattan, just give me that countryside. Oh, Ron, that's too funny. <laughs> I mean, hey, we, it's our classic TV show. How can you go wrong? Exactly. You know what? And that's it's it's all about you know it's just it's just something I just love to do. I'm, I'm very basic. You know, I just love to be outside and you know doing my yard and and singing my and I'm on a lawnmower while uh -huh. I'm mowing my lawn. <laughs> I'm thinking about songs and what songs I'm going to add and this and that and it's 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 it all connects somehow. So <laughs> there you go, and that's why I admire you because. You pretty much don't let this fame get to your head, and you're living a simple life when you're not performing. And I kind of admire that. It's definitely a mirror image of yours truly also. Thank you, Ron. Thank you so much. And thank you again for your support. I appreciate the airtime. Um, like I said, we, we have to get together and, and meet in person one day because I have to thank you in person for, for all you've done. It's really, it's you got it. really. Our uh, initial meeting will be a nice long one, and uh, we'll catch up uh, mano a mano. Quickly, uh, how can people get to know you more online? Uh, you have a website over here? My website is laurieannsmusic.com. Dot com. Mm -hmm. Make sure you put the S in there, laurieannsmusic.com at gmail. Excuse me, at gmail.com. All right. Well, that's your email Lori address. Music, yeah. But the website. Music.com. Without the Gmail. Gosh. There you go. And the you're Gmail on. Gmail is, yeah. You, you, you'll, if you hit that website, you'll find my Gmail address if you ever wanted to get hold of me to book book a band or whatever, book a, book a party or something. But, yeah. And your website has a complete list of all the gigs that you're doing in your neck of the woods out there in the western part of the Hudson Valley. So they Every can... single gig is on there. All the information. we got videos on there. we got the Rebel Child videos on there. The Small Town Girl video is on there. All my original music, you know, is posted underneath. You'll hear all the, all the original music that I've um, put out. Mm -hmm. And it's just compiles who I am. It is who I am. LaurieAnnsMusic.com right. is Laurieann. All right, and of course, you enjoyed my blog that I wrote up on you yesterday at WSBS.com. Beautiful. Beautifully done, right to the point. And I've provided a link to your website that way as well, so people can tap in. Laurieann, I really have to go because I'm really pressed for time. i got to get to a basketball game. But okay, Ron. Will you come back again real soon? I will come back. Thank you again. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your support. Anytime. Let's take a listen to Rebel Child off her third EP entitled Simple Life. Much good luck in your uh, future uh, endeavors, and uh, for sure, it's going to be uh, one of these days where I'm going to be front row and center to watch you perform this and so many more live, okay? Thank you, Ron. I will see you soon, and uh, have a great day. You do the same, dear. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.
was a cold and rainy night. They laid her down and her mama cried. Thunder and lightning filled the sky. No more running for the rebel town. Her five foot red as the Georgia play. Never let nothing stand in her way. It's a ride on the southbound train. Never want it to come back That's uh, new music from Lorianne off her upcoming EP, Simple Life. A little gritty tune, if you ask me, uh, sort of like a different uh, concept of what we were used to uh, from the past. All about the Rebel Child here at 860 AM, 94.1 FM, WSBS, and WSBS.com. Such a joy to have Lorianne with me again on the Saturday morning chat, and we'll keep you posted as to what's happening with her. In the meanwhile, let's take a look at what's going on.